Uh, good afternoon friends so today we will see the operation of uh, uh, functional operation of uh, cro and function generator okay so these are the proofs which we require for this uh, operation right so this is crocodile proof this one bnc bnc is there and this is your crocodile proofs are there right other option is there we can use directly bnc to bnc this is bnc to bnc this we can directly use we can use this or we can use this also okay now this is your uh, scientech make that is model number is 4061 and it is having 3 megahertz function pulse generator and with the 400 megahertz frequency counter inbuilt is there right so if you see the screen here you can see here the model name scientech 401 function generator and these are the frequency which we are going to display and here we are using a ttl analogy we have got HTL DTL right now but we are using a here TTL analogy transistor transistor logic okay so this is your frequency now this is your function generator and this is modulation this is attenuation and this is a menu from this we can select what we want menu or okay now this frequency so here we can vary the frequency here you can see here now it is in megahertz now it is in kilohertz we can set the frequency of our interest fine now this is your function generator right so now uh, the frequency is there now it is in this one so here sine wave is there here triangular waveform your ramp waveform pulse generator like this we can have a different types of waveform we can generate here right and you are making attenuation detection zero volt right now this is the knob external knob is there and this is the output port is there so if you want to measure the waveform so this is the output which to which we have to connect the bnc probe from this bnc probe we are giving input to the CRO. This is your analog CRO. This is CRT cathode ray oscilloscope tube is there inside this. So if you see, so there vertical scale is there and here horizontal scale is there. Uh, sorry, this is horizontal scale is there and this is vertical scale. Okay. So vertical scale there are divisions. So in one unit five divisions are there. Likewise for horizontal as well as for vertical also. Fine. Now these are the knobs. So if you see here, this is volts per division knob and this is time per division knob. By varying this knob, we can vary the voltage and by varying this knob, we can vary the time division plus knob, right? So this is your X10 means your multiplying factor by which we can multiply by times, 10 times of the particular waveform. And this is XY mode means what? Two modes are there, two channels are there. Two modes means what? Two channels. So this is one channel. And this is another channel. Two channels are there. X channel and Y channel. Both channels are there. So we can feed signal to one of the channel. Or if I want to see the waveform of you know, through both the channels. So I can use these uh, two channels. And I can put it in XY mode. Okay. So now we will see. Uh, now I have uh, put it in a sine wave mode with a frequency 1.04 kilohertz. So in CRO you can view clearly that it is a sine waveform, right? Now if I want, if I change the function, if I change the function means instead of sine waveform, if I make it a uh, square waveform, triangular waveform. For example, if I make it a square waveform, so you can immediately we can view here that we are observing a sine waveform, uh, square waveform on a CRO. Likewise, if I change the function to a uh, Triangular waveform, so here in uh, Sierra panel, we can view a triangular waveform respectively. And likewise, if you change uh, my uh, function into RAM, so RAM waveform can be observed. So this is what the basic, uh, uh, you can say, advantage of our function is that ready-made function generator has been available here. So depends upon our requirement, we can choose the uh, particular waveform with the help of this function button. Right, now we are making sign. Okay, now we will measure the waveform, right? So there are two parameters that need to be measured from a waveform. One is your frequency, other one is your voltage. So the frequency is lying on your x-axis here and voltage is lying on a y-axis, right? So how to measure the frequency from here? So we don't know what is the frequency which is given. So from this, if I want to measure the frequency. So how we will measure? So first you adjust the sine wave in one cycle, so right? We are interested in one cycle. So my one cycle starts from here, okay? You see here, from here, and it ends to here, okay? So in all there are 10 divisions, right? Now here see, what is my times per knob division? 
that is 0.5 millisecond okay so what is the formula what i said that is times per time period measurement is equal to number of horizontal division multiplied by times per knob okay now my times per knob is 0.5 millisecond right so there are different ways so simple way is that for one unit you have to calculate what is the uh, what is the time duration carried by my one division right so for that how you can do is that 0.5 millisecond divided by in uh, one unit you have five divisions are there right so 0.5 millisecond divided by 5 that will be equal to 0.1 millisecond so now this is a unit of one this is a value carried by one division that is 0.1 millisecond now you see here the sine wave extended here from here to here in that we have got 10 divisions right so 10 division multiply by what is the unit of 1.1 so 10 divided by 0.1 will be 1 1 millisecond so so your time period will be 1 millisecond if you make the inverse of uh, frequ uh, this uh, frequency that is 1 upon f that is equal to time period time period is equal to 1 upon f so t is equal to 1 upon f so t will be 1 upon f is what 1 millisecond that comes out to be 1 kilohertz so the here you can uh, view here so the my frequency is 1 kilohertz so this is how we can calculate a uh, frequency from this uh, CRO same way you can calculate the voltage on a CRO that is y axis so in that same division we have to take we have to take uh, how much divisions which carries my waveform right so if you see here now my, my waveform is been covered within two units right that means what two blocks or two units or you can say 10 divisions right so same 10 division and what is the voltage is there 5 likewise you can multiply number of divisions multiply by volts per division now that comes out to nearly 5 unit okay so this is how you can uh, measure the voltage or frequency in a CRO right so one more thing I would like to tell you that the ground button is given here so if you when you push this ground button you will get a straight line so which will help you to align my uh, uh, this uh, waveform the, and if you release it so you will get exactly waveform then this is XY mode so why this XY mode is there because if you want to measure the unknown frequency right means what one frequency is known to us and if you want to measure the unknown frequency so with the help of this list judges pattern we can measure so by pressing this button x y we can have both frequency and depend since i have using only one channel here right if you see here only one channel is engaged so only i'm getting if two channels are engaged and if i'm pressing the uh, x y mode so you will get some pattern and depending on the pattern we can measure the unknown voltage now here i release it now here mono button means what I am using a single cha single one and dual means what? I am using both channels. So hope so uh, you might have uh, understood what is the function uh, buttons which is then mounted on a analog CRO along with the function generator. So hope so uh, you will find this video more useful. So do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.